What's up guys, hey guys here and I'm back with another video. So today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys an OP foot champs team that you can use and I've got my actually got my best finish with this team. If you do enjoy the video, please like and subscribe and let's get started. So starting off in net, um, I've got Testegan. Testegan is one of the best keepers I've used in this game. He's so good. I've played 509 games with him. Like shots you don't expect keeper to save. Testegan saves them and he's so so good. I'd highly recommend getting Testegan in this game. I don't know. I don't know his price. Uh, let me just check his price. He's worth worth it. It's hundred percent worth it. Get to Stegen if you haven't got him. Then moving on to the right position. What Zambrotta? Zambrotta is actually really really going to open. He's quick. He's strong and he can tackle. I actually got the Zambrotta from the Icon Swaps, so I got my best for free. But if you have got the coin and you are looking for a right back, I highly recommend the Zambrotta. He's actually really really good. Then moving on to the first centre back. We have got Diego Carlos. Now, if he didn't do the SBC or 4 3, you won't be able to get this Diego Carlos. But if he did do him, this card is actually really, really sick. He's got a good pace, good defending, good physical. He's 6 foot 1, so he's with all the headers. He's high defensive. He's actually a really, really OP centre back. I mean, if you have got him, put him in your team. He's so, so good. Now, his defensive partner, this man needs no introduction at all. Baby Rio needs no introduction at all. This card is like one of the best setup backs in the game that I've used. Obviously, I got him from the first icon swaps, and I do not regret getting this card. He's so so good in this game. He's got A4 pace, A4 defending, A D physical, six foot two, just an OP centre back. What an OP centre back he is. And moving to the left left back position, I've got Furlan Mende. Now obviously Mende is a really cheap option but even in foot champs Mende is actually really really quick. He's not A9 pace, he's, he feels way quicker than A9 pace and even his physical is not A1. He be barging plays off the ball like he's nothing and he's really good at tackling and intercepting. If you're looking for like a cheap left back, I highly recommend this Furlan Mende. <coughs> now moving on to the middle centimeter, uh, obviously you got seed off. I got seed off from the icon swaps. But basically for free. I didn't really think Seedorf was going to be that good. But after using Seedorf, I would highly recommend you get him if you want to get like a good box to watch midfield who's got pace, who's got passing, who's got strength, who can like, defend. Seedorf can do all of that. And obviously he's got four star, four star. I mean, Seedorf is actually a really, really good center mid. And if you're looking for the icon center mid, I highly recommend getting Seedorf in your team. Now moving on to the right position, I've got Danny James. Now Danny James was part the part of the objective during the future star uh, event that EA did. Now this card is so OP. He's got he's just rapid on the ball. He's got good dribbling, good shot, good passing, four star skills, four star weak foot, high attacking. Just an amazing, amazing card. Obviously, I played this card in camp, but the, I'll show you that later on during the video. I'll show you my tactics, but obviously, I played this card in camp, and he's so so good. I mean, if you didn't do this objective, this card is literally free. It's a literally a free card you can get in this game. And if you didn't do the objective, I don't know what you're thinking because this card is actually really, really mm -hmm. sick. And if you have going to sit in your bench, put him in your team right now because he is so, so good. Now moving on to the left mid, left mid spot, who is actually a right mid, is Bibiani. I could have gone with green shirt, but I prefer Bibiani. <coughs> this man got 99 pace, 87 shooting, 92 jumping. If you've played past FIFA's, you know how OP and quick Bibiani was. He was so good. He was so OP in FIFA. I mean, he just as OP in this FIFA. He just got the pace. He's got the shooting. He's got that nine and a drift so he can jump on the ball. He can move around the players. So, so good. <clears throat> now, moving on to the composition. Paul Pogba. Just like Tidoff, Paul Pogba is a box to box, box to box, great midfielder. He's got height. He's got shooting. He's got passing. He's got dribbling. He's got physical. He's just really, really good. Obviously, I put a hawk him just to give him a bit more pace. But Pogba is just a really, really great midfielder. I, I got mine for like 100k, but I'm not sure how much he's worth now. Um, yeah, so he's still worth about around like 95, 95 to 100k. He's still worth around that, that like price range. And if you're looking for a midfielder, I highly recommend getting Pogba. Now moving on to the next camp, which is this uh, football tip by Kyoko. And he was part of the objectives during foot birthday. And this card is really, really OP. He's got 79 pace, but in game he feels way, way quicker than 79 pace. I mean, cast us. I mean, he's like he runs like a guy with A5, A6 pace. He's got good defending, great physical. He's just a great, great CDM to use. And if you if you have got his card, I highly recommend using him. He's so, so good. Now moving on 
to the striker. The main man himself, the guy that builds this team, the guy that leads this team. One of my favourite strikers in this game, right here. This Mbappe, what a card. I got him for 360k. He's worth every single penny, every single coin I paid for him. This Mbappe is so, so good. If you're looking for a striker who can do everything, literally Mbappe can do everything. I highly recommend getting this Mbappe card. He is so, so good in this game. Now that is the team. Now let me just show you my custom tactics that I do use for this squad. Obviously, I go to a 4 2 2 because I just prefer having two strikers rather than one striker. And obviously, I play pressure heavy touch. My weight is on 6, my depth is on 4. That's, I just like playing pressure heavy touch. That's just me. Pre I just like getting the ball back quickly and attacking my opponent quickly, not just sitting back all the time. And obviously, I play fast build up just to get that quick counter, get my team running forward, getting the ball forward. The width, I put on 5. Playing the box, corners, and free kicks all on all like level. So I put playing the box on 6. Corners on three and uh, free kicks on three, just all level. <laughs> and the instructions on a bad path going stay central, get it behind, stay forward. On be behind, going balanced to get behind, stay forward. You want whoever your quicker striker is, you want it to be balanced so you can just run around, run around the striking position, run around freely, do whatever you want. You want the guy that can finish, so a bad path to stay central. So he, when he gets the box central, he can just run to the box and finish. Now, uh, James, I'm going stay forward. Um, just simple stay forward, nothing too special. Seal off, I'm going to stay back while attacking and cover center. Because uh, obviously, seal off, I've got good defending stats. So, you want one of your center to stay back. So, I've got seal off, stay back. And I've got Pogba on balance, cover center, and get in the box for crosses. So, like when my team is attacking, Pogba will always be out of the box waiting for the, uh, the ball to drop to him. Or headers going into the box for headers because he's tall. Or going for shots. That's why i got Pogba on get in the box. Back to your I've got on cut passing lines. Cover center and drop between defenders. The reason I've done this is because you play fast build up, your team's gonna always move forward, keep attacking, keep attacking. So you want your defense to be solid so you don't get counter attacked. That's why I got back yoko there and drop between defenders. It's like you play five at the back, that's why I've got back yoko there. It's actually really, really solid pain in the and drop between defenders. It's actually the first time I've tried that and it's actually really, really working good for me. And now my left back and right back go on my board, step back while attacking. I don't like having my left back and right back running up. Because people just abuse the wings in this game. So I'd rather have them not them to stay back while attacking. So guys, yeah. That was that was my team. And that was the custom tactics that I do use for this team. If you did enjoy this video and you want me to make more squad builders, please tell me in the comments below. And please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Walking alone, the streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger, step by step The clock is ticking, but there's no time for regrets